I thought I would post something more casual today. It's actually the season start called Vappu Ayot here in Vasa, Finland. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of people out and about. And there should be a lot of bikes because uh, it's actually a bike ride that I'm attending today. So this might be interesting just to make a short video about this. I'm just gonna shoot this with my helmet cam so you can just enjoy. Look at the views, look at the different bikes and uh, just take part in the activities with me. Let's head out to the meeting point of this Vappuajot event here in Vasa. I have a pretty good idea where it's held or where the starting point is and I still have 30 minutes to get there so we might have some good time to look around and uh, check out all the bikes coming to the event. It could be interesting to see if I'm the only Touareg today. Maybe there's others, who knows. But it's very possible that I am gonna be the only Touareg rider there, but uh, Aprilias there should be many. But we'll see when we get there. Already an interesting Mercedes 250 SE. Vintage, really nice. Oh, there's uh, so many bikes here. I'm pretty sure we don't have time to look at all of them. It's way bigger than I expected. I thought there would be like 30 bikes or something, but there's uh, at least a hundred, maybe hundreds. And there's a really old Mercedes there. Wow, that's really nice. <laughs> There's an old Ninja 9R. I owned one for four summers when I was younger. Almost killed myself many times. Crazy bike. There's a GS there. Tenere Africa Twin GS. Maybe there's more gravel bikes somewhere here. Let's just go, go around one time and uh, see what we can find here. Mostly road bikes so far, but uh, the ride is gonna start in, I guess, 30 minutes or something. Right, let's walk about and see the place. That's a nice Triumph. Cool little cafe racer. I'm always thinking about buying a road bike like that, just to be my third bike. Nice runabout to, around the city at least. But then again, the Touareg is perfectly fine doing it, so. Oh yeah, this is an 800, I guess. Yeah, a smaller GS. I'm really surprised how many bikes are here. It's like uh, hundreds of them. This is a vintage something interesting. Let's see what it is. Yamaha 1.1. I have no idea what, what model this is. It's a nice vintage looking bike. If you know what this is, put it in the comments. I think this is the one Ewan McGregor used to go around the world in the legendary series. A little controversial series as well. At least what comes to KTM. There's a lot of GS here. At least there's a few Teneres and Africa Twins about as well. Nice rally seat on that Tenere. Janne Suominen Motorsport, okay. Okay, cool. No idea what that is. I'm pretty sure this event is close the same size as uh, the one held in Oulu, which is a much bigger city, but I guess this area has a lot of bikers. Both of them had GoPros on their helmet. <laughs> That's a cool, cool look. Yeah, mostly road bikes. There's someone who travels with an R1200. A few flags here and there, at least. Lofoten, Northern Lights, Arctic Circle, Åland, Tromsø, Norway, Åland. Once again, Nordkap. I guess he likes to stay in the, in the Nordic part of Europe. I know nothing about these bikes. But this one uh, 
Oh, there's music there. Can't go there. I'm gonna get demonetized <laughs> so fast. What is that? Is that a triumph? Yeah, it's a tiger. Yeah, the event is so huge. I'm not gonna walk all of <laughs> all of these areas. <laughs> and I guess this whole crew is gonna ride the same distance, the same route. And people in the city can just check out the bikes. There was a lot of people on about because the weather is so awesome. Oh, there's uh, Pan America 1250. Cool. I would like to ride one someday again because uh, the one I rode a year ago, I have a video about it as well, was broken. Okay, let's wait for this crew to start moving and then I guess we'll just follow everyone and see what happens. Sadly, I had no luck finding other Torex or even other, other Aprilias, so I'm pretty sure I'm the only Torex 660 on this event. I have no idea if there's any order in this, probably not. Just try to find a spot and uh, carry on. Should be starting in two minutes. Well, there's like at least 500 bikes here. That's a lot, that's a lot of bikes. Let's see if we can follow this uh, KTM. I don't even know how long this ride is, but uh, I've never ridden my motorcycle with this many people before. So let's see how this goes. Now we're coming to the center of Vasa city here in Finland. There's not that many people usually, <laughs> but today it's full of people. Earlier today it was vintage cars and today it's, uh, at this time it's a turn of the motorcycle. People are super lucky with the weather today. I want to stand up so you can see better, but uh, it looks pretty stupid because everyone else is sitting down, so <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, I, I guess I'll sit down for a moment. I hope you can see enough. Vasa is a really beautiful city during the summertime, so definitely if you are ever in Finland. Looks like all of Vasa is out of <laughs> out today. I guess this is a nice way to start the summer riding season. Hundreds of bikes in front of me and hundreds of bikes in in the in behind me. Not sure if anyone counts these, but you can see there's a whole bunch of bikes there. I can't even see where it ends. And I'm pretty much in the front, so it's a big event for sure. Now that we're just chilling and riding very slow here, I can mention a few words about the Torex 660. I only have 650 kilometers on the on the bike. And uh, so far, I am liking the experience of riding this bike. The ergonomy is way better for me, personally, than it ever was on the Tenere 700. Uh, this is more suitable for a shorter rider, like myself. 
I'm 174 centimeters. That's uh, five, eight and a half. And uh, the bike suits me way better than the Tenere ever did. So that much I love about the bike, for sure. Some of the technology is really nice on this bike. And I have to mention the cruise control is really nice for someone that hasn't really gotten used to that on, on my previous bikes. When I ride longer distances on, on the tarmac roads, I definitely enjoy the cruise control way more than I expected even. It's nice to relax your hand and uh, even ride without your hands with the cruise control. So yeah, the cruise is definitely nice. It's my favorite technology part of this bike, definitely, is the cruise control. And the ride of this bike is really nice. It's, uh, you can definitely notice that the suspension is a little bit more sophisticated than it was on the Tenere 700, at least the base model. The KYB suspension of the Tenere might be just as good, but I haven't ridden that, so I can't comment about that. But definitely the base model Tenere loses on the suspension to this bike. This is comfortable on the road, yet again feels pretty sufficient on the off-road stuff but I can do some more harder harder riding later when I have the bike serviced the first time and then I can report back how I feel about the suspension but yeah at least the comfort is better on this suspension definitely so far the Torek experience is really positive the riding experience especially it's really fun to ride even though I thought the Tenere 700 is is super fun, but I think this might be a little bit even even a little bit more dynamic, especially on the twisty tarmac stuff. I do like how the bike handles, even though it has a 21-inch front wheel, it feels really precise, uh, considering that is it is an off-road biased bike, and the engine is really nice. It's smooth and it has a lot of punch, even on the low, low RPM ranges, so I have no niggles so far. So I will be posting a lot of videos with the Torek later, so subscribe to the channel to see all that. The event is over, had a good coffee with Lattu. I guess it's officially summer season, so I welcome all of you to enjoy this 24 summer that we're having. At least in Finland, it has been a pretty cold springtime, but uh, hopefully the rest of the season is gonna be way better. Have a nice riding season and see you at the events and uh, on the road.